it's a wake. Look at the wake behind you. That is crazy. Oh my God, look at this. Look at the size of that. Oh, oh, oh. look at this. What is, oh. oh my God. There's an estimated 250,000. I don't care what river you're That's on. That's a lot of fish, man. Look at them all. Wow. This is nuts. That I've never seen before in any fishery. One down, 300 to go. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Sale, the Canadian Outdoors Superstore. Coleman, the outdoor company. Cooper Tires, life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. And Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Today, we venture east to an iconic fishing destination the quintessential Atlantic Salmon River, known as the Miramichi. Since the beginning of documented times, salmon have migrated up this waterway in search of their maternal spawning grounds. Unfortunately, global overharvesting has taken its toll on the Atlantic salmon stocks, and sadly, the Miramichi is no exception. But today finds us here in search of another once at risk species that is actually enjoying a resurgence, and in fact, prompted the creation of a brand new fishing tournament, the Striper Cup headquartered in the city of Miramichi, New Brunswick. Miramichi is the largest city in northern New Brunswick. This area of Miramichi has been continuously inhabited for over 3,000 years. By the middle of the 19th century, Bears Island was the largest shipbuilding and commercial establishment in this part of Canada and played a major role in crafting our nation's history. It's now a Canadian heritage site as evidenced by tall masts that have become somewhat of a landmark for Miramichi. For generations, tidal saltwater flowed inland and created an ecosystem for anandromous fish, such as salmon, sturgeon, alewife, and striped bass, that seasonally moved up the estuaries in large numbers. Sadly, we made some big mistakes throughout our history in terms of over-harvesting fish stocks. However, today, by using good fishery management protocols, we can see a trend shifting towards sustainability and possibly even growth. A great example is the Miramichi striped bass fishery, which had to be shut down in 2004. Fortunately for us, these fish are prolific. A mature female can broadcast up to 3 million eggs a season. So, by 2013, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans opened up the fishery in the waters adjacent to the maritime provinces in the southern Gulf of St. Lawrence. What better way to celebrate the explosive resurgence of this fishery than to have a fishing tournament? The townsfolk are calling it the Striper Cup. The winner with the highest two-day total of four fish gets a $5,000 cash prize. As well, there's a grand prize for a gorgeous Prince Craft boat and matching four-stroke Merc. Not too shabby for an inaugural fishing tournament. We'll be checking in on the event throughout the show, but the main purpose of our travel east is to sample some of this incredible fishery for ourselves. Joining us today is good buddy Joe Anthony outdoorsman extraordinaire who has his finger on the pulse of this East Coast fishery. I manage a snow crab processing facility which is located about two hours from here. By the way we did something pretty foolish today which we do on a, uh, probably more often than we like to admit we brought no net. Well actually it wasn't our fault uh, Joe Anthony our fly fishing expert said nah you don't need a net for these things. Nah bye. <laughs> <laughs> you better hope you don't get a big one on brother because you're going in. <laughs> Joe's hooked up. A very popular fishing technique out east is to use a fly fishing rod. Look at you with that fly rod. But bringing a big fish to the boat and keeping it there on a nine foot fly fishing rod while you bend down the lippet can present problems. With a net, the problems go away. Conventional casting gear is faster and much more productive. I never knew Joe was a fly fisherman. Still, Joe gave it the old college try. Joe took it all in stride, that's but nice. switched that's over to a more traditional rod and reel combination. We're still impressed that he landed that striper with a fly fishing rod and reel and no net. We're not going to let him forget that. Hey, there you go, Joe. Good one. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. It's all about the miraculous revival of the striped bass. This is how you regain a fishery. Today, anglers are allowed to have just one fish in their possession, job, and it must buddy. be between 55 and 65 centimeters. Everything else must be released. A special temporary variance was obtained for this event to allow for a two fish limit per angler. There's an estimated 250,000 fish in the Northwest Fork of the Miramichi doing their thing to keep their numbers growing. Is it a good one, Joe? It's a good one. Everyone's a, everyone's a good one. Atta boy. 
It's a beautiful fish. Good fish, Ange. <laughs> Looking good, buddy. There's something in the air, or in our case, the water. There's a strange calm on the water. There's something brewing I've never experienced before. Look at that, that is crazy. Wow. During spawning, the males will surround a single large female and bump her up to the water surface. Once there, she releases her eggs. And the males, well, they do their thing. As the eggs are discharged and scattered, the males release milt, turning the water milky white. Look at this herd of them coming in right here. Spawning can last several days. During spawning, a female can release between one half to three million eggs. Look at them all there, holy smokes. Unlike salmonoids, striped bass will continue to eat during the spawning cycle. Fertilized striped bass eggs need to be carried by water currents for about 48 to 72 hours until they hatch to avoid suffocation. The water current must be strong enough and the river distance long enough to keep the eggs and the young from settling to the river bottom. If the eggs sink to the bottom, they die because sediment reduces oxygen exchange between the eggs and the surrounding water. This is the most critical period for young stripers. Oh my God, look at this. Look at the size of that. Oh, 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 is that mama? Buddy, oh mama just came with a school of youngins. Look at that. No, it's the 20. Look at them all oh, around. They're all, all look around. At oh, look at this. What is, oh. oh my God. That is Never seen anything like Look it. at that. That is awesome. How many there? 50, 100? Oh, 100 fish. See yeah, still not, not that big nope. female nope. that we're looking for. Wow. Boy, that so was so cool. There had to be 50 to 100 <laughs> was crazy. fish. They were, fall, they, they were, it, at one time, they balled in one little group, didn't they? They were somersaulting it was all like over. Ridiculous. Got to be a female, and then they, yeah. and the males were just going Or at least they it. think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. We're doubling and tripling here. Back at the wharf at downtown Miramichi. The day starts early for the Striper Cup organizers. This is the first time that the city of Miramichi has ever hosted uh, a fishing tournament of any type, let alone a striped bass tournament. We have a, a striped bass population that is unheard of in the rest of the world. People are, are really uh, excited to, to take part in this great tournament. We have literally hundreds and hundreds of fishermen and boats out on the river today. See, but, this is a winning team, so you want to get the before shot here. <laughs> While organizers prepare for the big event, Pete, Joe, and I have set off back down to Miramichi in search of more of these amazing creatures. We've barely recovered from yesterday's incredible display of Mother Nature at her best. What a fishing adventure already, and we're just getting started. Hang on, we're doubling and tripling here. Look at them all underneath mine. Pete, have you got something on? I am not oh rigged. Oh my God. I'm not rigged up. Oh, can you see that? Oh, that's nice. That's fat. Hey, starting to get fat. After what we just witnessed, it's clear that it's the males aggressively going after every single female on the river. So now we'll try everything we can to distract the males and hopefully then lure the females out of the mayhem. <laughs> oh, Joe. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, Joe. Yeah. Come on, Joe. You can do it. Real chunky. Chunker fish. There you go. Nice one. Good job, Joe. Nice. You got her, bud. Put her back. Nice fish. Ooh, nice release, buddy. <laughs> Good work. We're here on the Miramichi River in New Brunswick, throwing just about anything and everything into the water, and most of it's working. This fishery is incredible. Yeah. Look at them, they're there again. Wow. Get yours in and we'll have a, 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 team, a tag team of them. Look at them. Oh, look at, look at this. <laughs> oh, crazy. 42 fish beside Woo. them. Oh my God, that is nuts. Man, they're tough as nails, these things. Swim baits. Probably anything at work, but we're throwing swim baits now. That's a All nice right. little. I think when you get a school like that that's hot, I think you can throw anything at Yeah, up. yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. Joe's been having some fun with us, challenging our claim off camera that he's been catching the smallest fish. Ang and I think his record is safe for now. That might have you beat, Joe. Oh, Joe, you're no. pretty much, Joe, no, 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 way. no. no way. it's close. Joe's but... got at least a half a pound less than that. <laughs> <laughs> Knock you off your feet, look at them all with them. 
Uh, let me see if I can get in there up to you. See the little males trying to peck at this thing? Look at that. That is crazy. You have to have a female on there. It has yeah, to be. Yeah. Oh, man, look at them all. Holy mackerel. That's crazy. You know which ones are females anyways. That, we're guessing, is a female right there. Well, yeah, only because everybody was on it. Wow. But it nice. does, it's skinny. Like, it doesn't look yeah. like a... Might a be pregnant. early. Maybe they're, they're still not... Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Don't know enough about it. I just saw one... If he's waiting for you to release her. I just saw one come up <laughs> in the surface and bring her back here. Come on. What are, you doing, with rain, our, what are you doing with our girls? <laughs> oh, that's nuts. During a rare lull in the incredible fishing action, both Pete and I grabbed another rod with our secret weapon, Mighty Mo. Sure enough, our little road pal made a few new friends just under the waves on the mirror machine. Look at him following Mo. Man, crazy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> on the bottom, whoops, on the bottom lip. Yeah. Little Mo fish, little striper bass on Mo. A pink Mo of all things. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at him, he looks like a drowned rat when he comes out of the water. <laughs> and it doesn't help these stripers are beating the snot out of them no too, eh? No kidding. <laughs> I, was, I was ordered to throw out a topwater bait, so I uh, nice, decided buddy. to throw a, a mouse bait. That's a, that's a duker for a, for a mouse fish. Yeah? <laughs> you want me to get him or are you good? I might be able to get him. Here, here. Let me get him for you. Whoa. Nicely done. Oh, oh buddy. Nice <laughs> Mighty boat comes to the rescue. Oh, there you go, nice brother. He's yours. That's a mouse bait fish. You Pop that up. Yep. Awesome. I'll let him go. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Here's wow. Stick. Nice. Oh, oh, beauty. <laughs> a mouse bait. That, that, that sucker catches him, doesn't it? I'm telling you. <laughs> that thing is crazy. That thing is crazy. Pink. 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 <laughs> Oh, that was a nice one. That oh, yeah. sounded good, eh? Did you get a look at him, Pete? No, I just I saw his tail only, but I couldn't tell. Look at the males around there. Oh, my God. You're going to make me hurt my thumb again, aren't you? That could be a keeper. <laughs> That's too big. <laughs> good fish, Joey. Just keep wearing her out so it doesn't bust my thumb, buddy. <laughs> oh, can you hold them? They hurt, man. When they, they just grab, they, they're so hard to get a hold of because they're just a bit mouth is a bit bigger than a large mouth. That's a beauty. <laughs> Joe, yeah. that's an awesome fish, fish buddy. Think, Ant? Hold Holy on. Holy mackerel. Good Did fish. you catch that? Here, you, I'll buy myself. <laughs> 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 but I had, the, I had my rigging buddy. He put her together. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Get him back in the water. Go forth and multiply. That's what she's doing. This is it. After a short delay, the Striper Cup is ready to launch. It seems the whole town has come out to cheer the participants on. No matter the level of skill, equipment on hand, or the size of the boat, everybody's welcome on the Miramichi. If we could achieve anything in this event, it would be to bring attention to the fishery and get people to come to the Miramichi in May and enjoy this fishery. Talk about a great fishery. This is fantastic. I wish we had something like this oh. a little closer to home. Oh, I'd be on it every day. Striper's King today, my friend. It's probably one of the most humbling experiences to dream up something like this with our buddy Jeff Wilson and put it into effect and then see the results of how many people really, really wanted this uh, to happen. Another benefit of having this event is the great opportunity it provides for the Miramichi River Environmental Assessment Committee and the DFO to collect data. This 10 kilometer stretch of river is the only spawning ground for striped bass in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. It's this careful and intelligent management of striper fishery that has allowed this spectacular event to even happen. You know, these guys from Fish in Canada, I'm, I'm thinking are pretty, uh pretty happy with what they've done um, and I think they caught some nice fish and, and certainly have seen a lot of fish. Well that my friend would be an understatement. What the event organizers didn't know is that earlier we were experiencing absolute mayhem on the beer machine. In fact, had we weighed in our top two fish each day, we'd have won this tournament hands down. 
Well, then maybe next year we should be players and not spectators. What you think there, Pete? Whoa, buddy! And nice one, buddy. And you got it all by yourself. You lifted it in and everything. Today's hotspot is a stretch of the Miramichi River named Red Bank. The waypoint on your screen will get you there. During the striped bass spawning migration, each spring, this area gets completely jammed up with rambunctious fish getting ready to reproduce. A fast, erratic moving bait like a Yamamoto D Shad soft jerk bait in a bright color will pretty much clean up here. For more hotspots like this one, check out fishingcanada.com. What the? Holy mackerel, that's a nice fish, boys. What's that's that? two big females together. Or another big male right beside her. Whatever the case is, that is both big fish. Maybe I can grab the other one by hand. <laughs> oh, boy. Good luck on that one, buddy. Oh, that's nice. Wow. That's perfect, eh? Oh, there it is. Oh, that feels heavy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that might be. That might be the ticket. It's hard to tell, though, eh? Oh, well, you got current, you got oh, wind. I, that, oh, that's yeah. That's a nice tail. Look at the cluster yeah, with I her. So. <laughs> Woo! Nicely done, That's buddy. the one. That is oh, the man. one. Here you go. Wow. Nice fish. That's mama right there. <laughs> this young fish mama. had about, I don't know, 30 or 40 small males that were just glued to They're her. They're still hanging around waiting They're for They're still hanging around reason. waiting to put her back. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great, man. Crazy. It's oh, great, man. Talk about a great fishery. This is fantastic. I wish we had something like this oh. a little closer to home. Oh, I'd be on buddy. it every day. To get to today's fast-paced striped bass fishing, we flew from Toronto to Moncton, New Brunswick. We then took Highway 15 northeast and then turned north on Highway 11. We exited on Church Street in the town of Miramichi and then took Henderson Street to the outstanding accommodations at the Rod Miramichi Resort. This was one of the most amazing shoots we've ever done. So choosing just one KLP was tough. Because of where we were and what we saw, it's got to be K for knowledge and L for location. Aside from the fantastic memories of what we witnessed on the surface of that river, we learned that these fish, in the midst of their reproductive frenzy, actually took time out to eat. Most fish species, certainly the salmonoids, from which this river is internationally known, don't eat when they're about to spawn. Stripers, on the other hand, are multitaskers, doing both with equal abandon. And the numbers are staggering. Over a quarter million spawning fish in a 10 kilometer stretch of this river, right in front of the city of Miramichi. This very convenient location, along with the knowledge that these fish actually eat while they spawn, makes for a very successful day of the water. And that's what KLP is all about. To make it even better, we anglers should do our part and release them all and let them get right back at it. It just means an even more spectacular fishery next year. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Nothing works harder than a Ram. Stearns, trusted on the water since 1952. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Bye. Uh -huh.